Grief and mourning on Long Island. It's back to class for Farmingdale High School students and staff as the community copes with the loss of four students killed in a weekend car crash. CBS 2's Weijia Jang joins us live from Farmingdale with more on this. Weijia. Chris, school officials have asked everybody to wear green today as they come back to class to show solidarity as students mourn the loss of those four students and hope for the best for another classmate who's fighting for his life in the hospital. Church bells tolled as more than a thousand people mourned at a Sunday night prayer vigil in Farmingdale. It's going to be really different just not being able to see them around the hallways. Four teenagers, all Farmingdale High School students, were killed in a crash minutes after midnight Saturday. Police say the Nissan they were riding in crossed the center line on Conklin Street, colliding head-on with an SUV. They were students that gave to their community, that loved going to school. The school principal struggling with the tragedy. You can't make sense out of one, let alone four. You just can't. All we're going to do tomorrow is try to support our students and help them through it, trying to make sense of it. That's for a higher power, not for us to do at this point in time. One person from the car survived. 17-year-old Cody Talanian, a man and a woman in the SUV, also lived. All three were seriously hurt. So many attended the vigil. Speakers were set up outside the church for the overflow crowd. In a moving gesture, first responders from the town lined up outside to show support for a somber but strong community. Look at all these people we have here. You know what I mean? Farmingdale is a strong, strong town. We expect to see students arriving here to school very shortly, and there will be grief counselors here to help them through this very difficult day. We're live in Farmingdale. Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News. Weijia, thank you.